Hi everyone, it's Deborah. I am just checking in uh, with you all. A lot of you have gotten through your first set of annotations and your reflections and are submitting those goals, so I'm really excited to see those formalized and kind of get an idea for what your plan is. Um, just looking at the calendar, coming up in the next few days, um, we have the Day in the Life Forum, which is actually labeled Topic 3, and I realize the topics are a little misnumbered, so I apologize. You are not late um, in submitting that. Uh, it was just a misordering in the topic number. So that Topic 3, A Day in the Life, is due on the 18th. And then we have a class forum, which I believe is um, also an annotation on the 19th, due with some articles. And again, we're looking at, um, I believe, four annotations across the articles, not four on each one. So that's on the 19th. And then the 20th, we have um, the PLE in Symbaloo that is due. So now that I think when you're looking at especially some of the stuff on the lesson on personalized learning in the class forums on adaptive or PLE, there'll be information about Symbaloo. And then you'll have an assignment on the 20th related to that. And just to show you how to get there, uh, we're going to go back to our course here. And the actual assignment where you're going to submit is under Personalized Learning Environment. And if you scroll down just a little bit, there's the assignment, Setting Up Symbolu. So click on that. And you'll just add a discussion thread. And my, because I'm in it as an instructor, there isn't a button there, but you'll actually have a button that says Add a Discussion Comment, and you can do that. and then. Once you've posted, the video that I also attached to this announcement will give you directions on how to either link or embed your symbol into that post. The other thing I want to mention as you're learning about symbol and using that is that this playlist right here is going to have a lot of information about how to set up your symbol. So if you're not sure symbol is a new tool to you, Go ahead and take a look at that playlist, and then when you're done, uh, share it in the assignment located right here. The other thing I will mention is if you have a different way of doing this, if Symbaloo isn't your thing, that is okay. Um, I would be really interested to see if other people are using different tools that are similar but different. So um, if that is the case, don't hesitate to uh, send me an email letting me know what that is, and we'd be more than happy to have you submit that instead of a Symbaloo. So. Just uh, let me know and we can do that. The other thing, looking back at the schedule that's coming up, uh, is the SPLS, Student Personalized Learning System, um, look at it and forum. And that was originally stated to be due on the 22nd and 24th, and I realized that is like right over Thanksgiving and people are going to be traveling and having family, and so uh, I just want to make sure people can enjoy the holiday. So let's push that due date back to the 28th of November. And I'll put that on the list of assignments and um, due dates on the document that's located on the front of this course page. So we're going to move that back to the 28th, and nobody needs to worry about that if it isn't submitted until that time, because that we want to have time, give you time to look around it and not be doing that. I say this because today I went and purchased our turkey, and I'm in the middle of making stuffing and salads and stuff like that so everybody's got that going on so let's push that one back until the 28th and we'll kind of adjust things as we go I think we'll be there's a little bit of a gap now coming up where some of our formal assignments are going to slow down because you'll be really working on your plan that you're developing and also um, going through those steps that you've outlined for yourself and creating that artifact so uh, that will be the final thing I want to talk about is topic nine and this was sort of mentioned at the beginning of the list of up, uh, assignments and due dates. And this is that one that it didn't have a specific date, but I want people to start thinking about their posts. If we go to topic nine in the class forums, we want you to be reflecting on your experience as a personalized learner. So we've done learner profiles where you took, um, in our class we did introductions, and then we did CBAM and the Cosmo quiz, and it kind of did that. And then we did... In addition to that learner profile, we did setting goals, uh, and then we've worked on creating your learner pathway and doing that. So these are sometimes different experiences for learners, something that maybe in a traditional classroom you haven't had. And so we really want to talk about what was, how did that go? Um, 
is it working for you? What questions did you have? What did you find challenging? Because remember, as we're working with students, they're going to have similar experiences, especially if they also haven't had a personalized learning experience. So this is sort of the place for you to go in and do that. And I, right now, it's just to have you respond three times throughout the next few weeks about your personalized learning experience. Um, now that we've gotten through several of the steps, um, learner profile, um, learner pathway that we've developed, and things like that, I would suggest that you go in and make an um, entry into here just about how that's going for you. And again, there's no specific deadline for any of your three posts other than to say that at the end of the class, I'll be looking to see that you've kind of been reflective about that personalized learning experience in this Topic 9 forum. So that is that. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, and I will be sending also out in the next few days some resources related to the categories. I have some really good ones on each of them that I want to share. Uh, and with that in mind, it's always okay for you to go in as those things go out to edit your learner pathway that you're developed or your learning plan. So if you see something there, go ahead and change it. Those learning plans should be living documents that you can alter or adjust as you go on, even to the point where if you discover partway through that your learning goal isn't quite what you need, um, go ahead and make a change if you want to. If you're going to change the artifact, just let me know um, what those changes are, just so I have a heads up. Um, because we know that students are going to discover things in their learning and they might get distracted, but find even something more interesting to them. So. Much like that, I want to encourage you as well with your learning plans to keep them a living, breathing document. So if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to let me know, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.